Let's face it, there aren't enough years in a lifetime to accomplish everything. Take Brainyard's bucket list. He wants to skydive, win the Nobel Prize, run a marathon, set foot on all seven continents, and that's just grazing the top of his list. Take it from us, buddy. It's best to keep your list short and sweet so you aren't lying in your deathbed completely disappointed by all the things you didn't get to do. But what if we told you that science may have discovered a hack for you to freeze your brain and your body so that you can wake up one day in a future with advanced medical technology to get you running again? Enticed Brainyard? Well, listen up, because this will require all of your attention. Not bad if you ask us considering that you may find a way to live forever after this video. So, we agree there is no way you can risk ticking off just half of your bucket list. Brainyard had the same idea, so in the interest of living forever, you two will need to sign your name on the dotted line. Here, here, and here. Now that that's done, you're on your way to living forever. But exactly how is that meant to go down? In a single word, the answer is cryonics. Moments after you die, antifreeze compounds are injected into your corpse in order to preserve the state of your body. Ideally, this would begin anywhere between 2 to 15 minutes of the heart stopping in order to prevent cells from dying. The body is then kept well frozen at temperatures below zero while blood is replaced with a chemical solution to preserve vital organs. Companies such as Alcor and the Cryonic Institute, both based in the United States, hope that by freezing the bodies of their elite clientele now, medical science and technology will advance enough in the future to bring them back to life. If you think this all sounds an awful lot like Futurama, that show you're binging, Brainyard, you're right. It's just without the egg timer. But how does this freezing process work exactly? According to the research, damage to the human body can be avoided by carefully modulating and regulating temperatures on various types of cryo protectants. It's important for scientists to inhibit ice from forming in the body, which can destroy cells and tissues. For that reason, a smooth transition to what scientists refer to as the glassy stage is the aim. This is achieved by rapidly cooling the body so that ice does not have the time or conditions to form. But the protection of the body in these below zero temperatures is half of the problem. As you can imagine, reviving whole bodies possess its own challenges as organs need to get back up and running again. But it's a good sign that our bodies are familiar with the process of cooling itself. Take people who've drowned, for example. Despite being submerged in cold water, most people are revived. Not to mention modern medical practices such as egg, stem cell, and skin transplants are largely successful despite being frozen and then thawed. So, it doesn't look all bad. But as you can imagine, this process is extremely controversial for many reasons. For one thing, this process has only been able to revive living embryos. Researchers hypothesize that the ordinary person would not survive let alone revive from these deep freeze conditions, at least according to present day medicine. Not to mention there is always the question of these cryonic companies and their intentions. Are they making these claims to exhaust high paying customers in their wallets? Or can they really follow through on their promise of medical miracles? But the uncertainty of cryonics future is not deterring customers from this future savvy service. Around 350 people worldwide have had their corpses preserved immediately after death in the hopes that they can can be revived in the future. Dennis Kowalski, the president of the Michigan-based Cryonics Institute, claims that his scientists could reanimate any one of these frozen corpses within the next 10 years. If Kowalski can live up to his promises, around 2,000 people are hoping to sign up for his cryonic services. But we know what you're thinking, Brainyard. Are there any real-life cases of once frozen patients walking amongst us? Isn't Walt Disney frozen somewhere? The short answer is no. There are currently no successful non-embryotic cryonic patients. Try saying that sentence five times fast. As for good old Walt Disney awaiting for a medical miracle, it's an urban legend. The rumor has been repeatedly denied by various sources, including Disney's own daughter, Diane, who wrote in her 1972 biography that she doubted her father even had heard of cryonics. The good news is there are many people curious enough to try it out. Yes, including you, Brainyard. Englishman Mike Carter, for example, has paid a pretty penny to be frozen the minute he's declared dead. Until science can wake the dead, Carter will remain in a cylinder of liquid nitrogen at a whopping temperature of negative 196 degrees Celsius. I hope it works out for him, considering he paid about 160,000 British pounds, which amounts to roughly 206,749 US dollars. Yikes. Better start budgeting, Brainyard. Oh, what's that? You don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to spare on a risky future investment? Well, can't blame you there, Brainyard, but don't worry. 
worry, we have some cheaper alternatives ready to go for you. Here are a few ways to live forever without breaking the bank. It seems as though the science community agrees that the only reasonable and tangible method of living forever, at least for right now, is by living in the cloud. More specifically, your unique consciousness would be uploaded to a computer, and through this, all of your thoughts could be preserved until medicine finds a way to revive a dead body. The first step towards digital immortality is to create brain simulation technology with enough capacity to store human consciousness. To date, experts using IBM's Blue Gene supercomputers have created a digital brain with 1.6 billion neurons. Sounds like a lot, right? You must be thinking, Brainer, that this supercomputer must match the capabilities of the human brain. Well, not exactly. In fact, IBM's computer and its 1.6 billion neurons is similar to more of a cat's brain than a human brain. There is currently no computer powerful or big enough to support the human brain's 86 billion neurons. You might not think that your brain has a lot going on up there, especially since some of the biggest decisions you have to make every day is what to watch on Netflix, but you'd be surprised on how complex your brain actually is. So it seems that 86 billion neurons is proving to be a difficult task, so we may have to search for an alternative to living forever. So let's look at anti-aging products and treatments. In the beauty industry, eternal life is a big business. There's a huge market for age-defying products, treatments, and services. Recent figures from Orbis Research state that in 2018, $559 million was invested by venture capitalists and a variety of anti-aging companies. One of the controversial investment opportunities within the anti-aging arena is vitrification. This is the process of embalming chemicals to preserve the brain's neuronal structure by turning it temporarily into glass. This has been successfully trialed in 2016 on a rabbit's brain, and then later in 2018 on a pig's, but whether or not it would work on a human is still a mystery. Allegedly, this procedure is enticing enough for 25 people to pay a deposit of $25,000 to wait for the process to be perfected. But of course, vitrification is highly controversial, mostly because the process includes ending life of a patient in order to successfully preserve the brain. Yeah, that's right. Not only do you have to pay a pretty penny for vitrification, but they also need to terminate you. Plus, not to mention that there is currently no method of successfully reviving a once frozen brain. But once it is discovered, then all it is is the simple task of copying and pasting that brain into a robot. So maybe all the technology isn't right where it's meant to be, but medicine is making advances every single day. But we know you, Brainyard. You're an impatient. Are you really going to be able to wait until 2050? That's 30 years from now. But where medicine lags, technology and social media are making strides every minute. Even if your cell phone can't mirror your consciousness, much of you and all that you are is on that little device. From your banking information to your credit card numbers to the sequences of your passwords, there is a lot of you already floating around as data on the internet. If you ask me, it's just a matter of time before you're uploaded to the internet. So, it looks like you might live after all, Brainyard. But to stay safe, you may want to delete this, 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 and this off your browser history. If you're going to live forever on the internet, do we really want people knowing that you've watched The Christmas Prince 30 times? Here's an idea. Instead, watch some of our new Brainiac videos. They're way more entertaining anyway.